back to Zero Production Value Movie Reviews. My name is Eric Hernke. Just a guy on the internet, sitting in his house who likes to talk about movies, and hopefully you want to come on that journey with me. And today, we're going to be discussing the film Airport, from 1970, directed by George Seaton. That's right, Airport. Not Airplane, completely different movie. Uh, so this was nominated for Best Picture of 1970, part of my ongoing project to watch all the Best Picture nominees. I'm working on 1970 right now. I just did a review for Five Easy Pieces, and this is the next film I watched in that uh, group of nominees. And not only was this nominated for Best Picture, but it would receive a total of 10 nominations uh, and win one uh, for supporting actress Helen Hayes. Uh, this was directed, like I said, by George Seaton, who isn't really a name that I recognize, but he had had a long career. This was kind of right at the tail end of a long career as a producer, uh, writer, and director. Um, so empirically, this is not a very good movie. And I think there might be a very good amount of uh, presentism in that. And if you look at it from like about the mid to late 80s till now, films like what this was trying to do at the time in 1970 have become incredibly commonplace. And I think, I mean, I think this is really the first time there had been prestige pictures before, but they had taken, in different, taken on different forms. There were prestige westerns. There were prestige, a lot of prestige biblical, you know, epics. A lot of epic style filmmaking, but nothing that was like an audience-pleasing action filmmaking. The stuff that we would come to know as disaster movies today. I think this is really one of the first disaster movies, although there's really not much disaster in it. But this is the, the, the great, great grandfather to something that would eventually become our popcorn fare like 2012 or the day after tomorrow or stuff like that, which is a high caliber, star driven, prestige disaster movie with some melodrama tossed in. And yeah. Uh, so like I said, in 1970, that style of film just didn't exist. So while this, by today's standards, didn't really do much and wasn't really very good, by, at that point, it was all very new and exciting, and I think that generated a lot of buzz for it, which translated into Oscar nominations. Uh, it did spawn uh, three sequels. Yeah, three sequels. But I think ultimately the best thing to come out of this film, Airport, was the fact that it was also the inspiration of the 1980 parody film, Airplane, which is much better and much more well-renowned. Um, this movie stars Burt Lancaster, uh, George Kennedy, Jacqueline Bisset, Dean Martin, Maureen Stapleton. So a lot of name actors. Uh, as we go into Chicago airport, uh, a, a Chicago airport on a snowy winter night. Uh, and all we, I think maybe part of it too is there's like a look, some technical aspect to it. So just sort of one of these things that we've all taken as uh, mundane airport travel and we go inside the inner workings of a business like that and we see them, the airport, I don't even really know what he was, the, the leader of the airport, the person in charge kind of directing everything and Dean Martin plays a pilot and uh, you know the runways have to be cleared of snow, they have to deal with belligerent passengers and then there's some other stuff going on and the disaster part of this whole movie comes from one passenger in specific who's down on his luck and is is not having a good life and he ultimately takes the the track that he's going to take out an insurance policy, get onto a plane, blow it up, and then his wife's going to have money and she'll be set and he can, will be less of a failure somehow because he's done this for his family. Uh, yeah. So that part of the story plays out in really odd fashion. And then also there's this, this film also doesn't seem to take its, some of its uh, characters very seriously, or there's a very cavalier attitude towards uh, familial relations, shall we say? Uh, that is that the, it seems like all these people are having affairs on each other and they just don't seem to care. <laughs> I don't know if they care. I don't know if they care or not. They just, they're not really, it's like, 
it's like inserted melodrama, but then they don't really do anything with it to blow it up. Like, uh, the Burt Lancaster, Burt Lancaster is the guy who's running the airport, and it's, he's so busy with the airport, it's like he's always getting called away, and his wife is just fed up. Come to find out she's been having an affair, but he doesn't really care, and they just sort of break up, and it's all fine. So that's sort of way late, you know, by the end. And there's Dean Martin, who's carrying on a relationship with a stewardess. And then he ultimately, I don't know, it's just sort of, and his wife's completely pushed to the background. And we're not even given any resolution to that. It's just like, nope, he's just with the stewardess. I don't know, it's, it's, very, it's very weird to me. Uh, so ultimately balancing the, the personal life issues, a little bit of the technical from the airport, a little bit of disaster film from the guy with the bomb. And, but ultimately this film is just like a clunky, overburdened, lumbering mess that just is like a sort of tepid foot in the water of what would eventually become a really dynamic, interesting subgenre of action films. And this is a really archaic first effort looking at it. And I, I honestly can't believe it was nominated for Best Picture. I really don't think this is a very good movie. Uh, really, all this movie wanted, all this movie really wanted to make me do was go out and watch Die Hard 2, which is a very similarly themed uh, movie, but just like updated and obviously an action movie with Bruce Willis's John McClane of Die Hard fame. Uh, that, and like I said, the spinoff of uh, Airplane, it's really about all this movie to me was good for. The fact that it got 10 Oscar nominations, including a Best Picture, is stunning to me. Uh, overall, I give Airport a D. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. I uh, like and subscribe and I hope to get out more content soon. Uh, thanks for watching.